Hello again, everyone. Welcome back and welcome to the beautiful Dominican Republic. I'm at the Excellence Punta Cana Resort in Punta Cana, and I'm here on the deck of the Magna Restaurant, a restaurant exclusive to Excellence Club members, which we are one of. So in the background, you can see a little bit of the view from this restaurant. Now, today I'm reviewing a cigar that's probably not unknown to a lot of you but you will like it this is the warp cigars black honey cigar comes in one size 5 by 48 it's a bellicoso as you can see it's a medium brown wrapper and it consists of an ecuadorian habano oscuro wrapper ecuadorian binder and nicaraguan and dominican filler and this cigar is quite popular and very hard to find but they're out there because i found these i actually bought a box of 10 so let's get right to it the warped cigars black honey now being a bellicoso we have a very nice target let's take off just that much and see okay that'll work Well, honey is an appropriate name for this cigar because you get a lot of honey notes. There's a little nutmeg mixed in there, quite a bit actually, and a cedar. You would think being primarily Nicaraguan would be uh, citrus, but it's a cedar. So you got cedar, honey, actually cinnamon, and nutmeg. Those are your four flavors you're going to get initially. The pepper is sort of a white pepper, about a six and a half or so not overly peppery the thing you get are a tremendous amount of sweet notes from that honey and the uh if you've ever had honey and i have it every single day actually uh it's quite sweet so the nutmeg tones down some of the extreme sweetness the cinnamon gives it a nice twist because cinnamon's nice all the time and of course you've got a nice cedar so those are your beginning flavors folks Well, as you can see, I'm about one inch in, and the flavor notes are just like I described, even a little more intense now. You have, it's, it's extremely sweet. The honey is extremely sweet. There is also detections of brown sugar. Cinnamon is very nice. Nutmeg is still there to tone down some of that sweetness. The uh, sweet flavors combined, you can tell it's predominantly honey, but it almost has a white chocolate feel to it. There's so many uh, different flavors there. It's nice sweet flavors. It's not, it may be what you could call a light coffee base. It's very light though. It's very light. Uh, the, there's not a very there's not a lot of dark notes in this cigar. I would go with a light black coffee base. This first, uh, well, we're you know what we're almost at the first third because it's a very short cigar. We won't be here very long. But for the first third, I would rate it every bit of 93. Uh, it's an excellent cigar. Uh, I love the sweet notes, and uh, I mean, honey is extremely sweet, and that's what this cigar really has a lot of. Well, somewhere around the midpoint, 
And it's a, about this point, I started getting a lot of caramel notes, which even gave it more sweetness. This is a very sweet cigar. I would put it at a low grade, medium to full bodied. But it's got your flavor notes now would include honey, cinnamon, brown sugar, caramel. The nutmeg is still there, but it's actually light. Uh, low level coffee base. But uh, it's extremely sweet, and uh, I think it, I see why people like these so much. At this point, at the midpoint, I'm raising the score to 94 because it's just so nice and sweet. So at this rate, uh, it's turning out to be very good. Well, we are down to the end, so let's wrap it up. This has been a very smooth, sweet cigar. Very sweet with the low-level flavors of a light coffee base could almost be a very dark brown sugar. It's, it's not a lot of dark notes in this cigar. The, the honey, the caramel, the brown sugar that's in it, the cinnamon, all are so very sweet. The nutmeg just tones it down enough that it's not a piece of candy, period. But it's very candy-like. It's a very sweet cigar. The burn time is about what you would expect. And uh, it's really nothing bad to say about it. It got very close to full body. It jumped here from about the midpoint to the end. It's a very low-level full-bodied cigar. I see no reason to lower it, the score of 94. It's excellent. So the overall score for this cigar is a 94 and well worth it. Warp Cigars has a gem of a cigar here. This is a great cigar. And I see why it's so hard to find. Earlier when I said I bought a box, or I should have said a bundle because these come in bundles, not boxes. But it's a bundle of 10. I, do, I did buy that and uh, I'm glad I did because this is a treat. So there you have it. The Warp Cigars Black Honey 94.